Welcome back to the Imperfect Expressions Podcast, where you can listen to dramatic readings of sci-fi and fantasy short stories. I'm your host, Just B. Jordan, and today's story is a retelling of the classic Robin Hood. This is Covet. The flames were unexpected. Arthur blinked back temporary blindness, stumbling toward what had been the carriage. William joined him at the wreckage. Curses, Robin! There's nothing. No chest, no gold, Arthur said. Broken pieces of wood and iron littered the forest road. Flames fed on the destruction. Smoke out, boys, William said. Arthur dashed with them through opposing knights and squires. He leaped over a bush, rolling, keeping his back bent and his feet silent. Robin's men had already vanished into Sherwood's shadows, all but William. They weren't pursued. The knights were busy stamping out flames. A village was nearby. Even they wouldn't let it burn. Two miles later, Arthur was sweating. What happened? William stopped, still muttering curses, and began to remove tree limbs from a pile of brush. He was quick, at least. No one saw. Arthur looked down. Saw. My clothes are burned. Be glad you still have hair. William uncovered the carcass of a deer. It stank, but its hide was gorgeous. Arthur's fingers twitched for the chance to tan it. Still want to join Robin's men? I'm not initiated. I just survived wizard's flames, Arthur said. Don't care. You're only in if you take care of this. I'm sick of doing it. Arthur raised his left brow. Skinning makes you squeamish? No, Robin does. William pointed up a wooded hill. Take the deer. You'll see a cave. He'll be in there. He walked away. Uh... Arthur lifted the deer to his shoulders and started up the incline. It wasn't long before he found the dark mouth of a cave. He took a step inside, eyes adjusting. The deer dropped from his shoulders. It was nothing compared to the living creature before him. His fingers twitched. Such a beautiful hide actually existed. To skin it? White heat jolted through his veins, driving out thought. Terror. He should be running. A dragon lay twisted and coiled around a chest. A chest with burst seams spilling gold coins. It's mine. Its spine curved, lips pulling back. Arthur fell to his seat. I took it. You can't have it this time, William. They stared at one another. Oh, not William. Robin? The dragon flicked its tongue. The deer trick won't work. I'm not hungry. He turned his face away, chin lifted. Arthur swallowed. So William wanted the gold back from Robin, who was a dragon, a spoiled brat of a dragon. Um, you do remember the whole giving back to the poor thing, Arthur said. It was your idea, wasn't it? But I want it now. It's mine. Arthur pinched the bridge of his nose. The brilliant Robin he had imagined was ruined. I see. Well, then, have a snack before I go? Arthur grabbed the deer's legs and pulled it further into the cave. Robin eyed him. He slowly stretched out his neck and grabbed the deer. His coil loosened. Arthur shifted forward and grabbed the chest's handle. No! Arthur evaded a claw and pulled a knife from his boot. He threw himself onto Robin's head, pinning it to the ground, blade at his throat. I'm the best tanner around. Skinning a dragon would be incredible. His fingers itched. Robin didn't try to throw him. He just groaned. I... It's mine. You wouldn't. The gold or your hide? Fine. Robin shuffled back. Arthur gripped cold iron, hurriedly dragging the chest into daylight. I lied. Flame spewed toward Arthur. He skidded down the hill, gold coins scattering behind him like the feathers of a plucked goose. He caught sight of William and a score of the men watching from behind some trees. You could have worn... He singed Arthur's back. Just run, William said. His gold lust will fade. Always does. The men helped grab hold of the chest, pressing their hands against cracked seams to block the haphazard streaming of coin. We're going to keep you around. You manage Robin well enough. Welcome to the team. Arthur grinned. He was in. But his fingers wouldn't stop 
itching. The thunder of a dragon and a plaintiff, but it's my gold, chased them into the forest. One day, Arthur would have that hide.